So what's up, y'all? Motivated today. You motivated? Y'all motivated? Okay. Anybody that hates, got something for y'all too. I love y'all too. But anyway, um, how y'all feeling? You 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 hit your goals. You come coming closer. Y'all um staying focused. What's going on? Um, how have you been doing with your progress? You know, uh, have you been hiding from me? Have I been trying to contact you? Have you not been answering? I know some of y'all out there that I really haven't been in contact, but it's cool. You come around when you come around. I keep on giving you videos. Hopefully, you'll watch these videos and you'll try to, um, you know, get something from these for your journey. Don't become discouraged to the point where you quit. Because when you quit, that could have been a part in your life where it could have made you or could have broke you. But because you fell into your excuses kind of broke and it could have pushed you six months could have pushed you a year back it could have been your last chance before you something happened to you but you quit but don't quit that's my you know um that's my you know advice to you today but today we're going to talk about body fat and cheat meals and how that kind of lose and do both now i'm gonna put disclaimer out there i'm not telling you to be out there eat cakes and stuff all the time because you still have to eat good somewhat, but you still have room to do what you want to do if you understood how your body is designed. So hopefully the insight that I give you today is going to further let you know what your body is capable of doing without taking any supplements and um, detox teas and things of that nature. I'm not against those things, but I'm saying that if you really don't want to have to take them, your body's already designed to do that. So I'm going to help you out with that a little bit. Now, what I do when I eat bad, because there's a, people think that I don't eat bad. They think I eat greens and I don't have no taste buds and all that stuff. But I actually don't let y'all see it too much, but I do. And when I do, I really do. So today, I went to, okay, see the box? I went to Junior's Cheesecake. I love cheesecake, and um, I got a whole cake. Now, I'm not going to eat the whole cake, but I will eat a couple slices today. I have some, ate some yesterday, and um, I'm probably going to eat some tomorrow. And I still have a six-pack. My body fat is still low, and I still get crazy good results. The reason why I do that is because I fast. Sometimes I fast for 24, but it's like 24 hours. Whoa, that's crazy. Listen. If you fast, certain things happen within your body that help you burn all this off. So by the time tomorrow comes around, your body doesn't even know you ate that. What does that mean? I fast for 16 hours and I'll eat for eight hours. That's what you call intermittent fasting. Now, the science behind intermittent fasting is when you eat food, your body Converse that the glucose and it's used and it's converted for energy. That's what that's what your body runs off of. It cause called glucose, glycogen, whatever you want to call it, right? And it converts it to energy. Now, when your body is in a fasted state, your glucose and your glycogen, your glycogen reserves are pretty much gone. So what is your body gonna run off when it has no more glycogen? Your fat. It has nothing else to run off of. People will say, well, if I fast, I'm going to lose muscle. Listen, that's BS. Don't listen to that. Your body does not use muscle or eat muscle until 48 hours fasted. Before that, it's only burning fat. You might feel weak. You might look weak because you have no glycogen in your muscles. So it's not as pumped as you normally may feel. But when you are fasted, after 16 hours, your body starts to burn away the stubborn body fat, the belly fat, you know, the thigh fat, you know, and you can't choose where your body's going to burn the fat. It happens everywhere at one time. So men, they have more fatty cells in their lower abs, right? That's where y'all have more fatty cells. And pretty much, you know, when you're in the fastest state, in that fastest state, if you exercise while you're in the fastest state, even if you don't, your body is still going to use body fat. It's just going to happen. You're going to burn more body fat if you exercise in a fasted state. And you have more fatty cells in your lower core. 
That's why you see the guys that are walking around, sometimes you're skinny, right? But you're skinny fat. Where are they most fat at when they're skinny and they're fat? In their stomach, right? Or if you see a female and she's gained some weight, where majority of the time you see fat from a female? The butt or the thighs? Because in a breast. Because women have more fatty cells in your butt, your thighs, than you're in your breasts. That's why when women, you know, get in shape and lose weight, the first that goes is the breast. Because you're burning your fatty cells and you can't really decide where you want it to go. It just happens everywhere. Now women say, well, how do I keep my breasts if I'm, you know, if I want to be 10% body fat? You go buy some. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest with you. Because it's not going to happen. You're not going to keep your fat up here if you have no fat anywhere else. You can't really choose where it's going to go. Now for the butt, you have a choice because you can actually build muscle there. So you have a choice there. But I don't think you want to build muscle into your chest because I've seen females with muscle built in their chest that don't look that good. So maybe you might want to get a breast implant if you still want to keep those D's and still look really trim. You know, there's a good, you can still be in shape and still have a nice body, but it all depends on what kind of goal you set for yourself. But um, let me get back to the fasting because I'm rambling a little bit. But um, so pretty much what happens is, is when you're in your fastest state, all the food that you've eaten when you wasn't in your fastest state, it's gone. It's depleted. It's, your glycogen is gone. Your body's actually running off of the fat that's in your stomach, the fat that's in your arms, the fat that's in your legs, all the stubborn fat that you kind of, you know, um, have trouble getting rid of. Now, I'll go into the actual science, you know, the insulin and the hormones and your testosterone and what happens to that later. But if you want to sit here and uh, have your little bit of fun, you got to sacrifice a little bit. Okay. And let you know, I ate half of it already. You got to sacrifice a little bit and you got to pretty much fast. If you don't fast, well, you really don't want it bad enough. You didn't want that cake bad enough. But if you did fast, you got something good out of it. You ate what you wanted to eat. You could live a little bit. I don't eat greens all the time. Okay. I eat pretty much what I want to eat and I'll still look good and I'll still have a six pack and I'll still look cut and I'll still build muscle because I get my nutrients in within my eating window and then I'm done with it. I'll fast and I'll, okay. What do you eat when you're fasting? Nothing. You might, you, you have up to 35 calories. You can eat like an apple and might not break your fast. But all I have in my fastest state is, um, I'll have a caffeine. I'll take my, uh, amino pills or like a BCA pre-workout and I'll just drink water. You know, if I drink a cat, if I drink like a coffee straight black, I feel like I'm full anyway. So I can last a little bit longer in my fastest state. But people are like, well, I don't want to fast. I feel weak. I got a headache. Listen, man. Stop crying. It's not going to kill you. You know, the benefits of fasting are well beyond the benefits of most other things. You know, you can actually prevent cancer from fasting. In another one of my videos, I'll actually put and talk about the benefits of uh, intermittent fasting and fasting. But besides that, this is my message to you guys and gals. Everybody have a great day. Um, you want to eat good. You want to eat fun. You know, just make sure you fast the next day, not for the whole day. You can if it was really bad, but I can I can guarantee you this. If you eat a whole cake or whatever, or a whole pizza, sometimes I eat a whole pizza. If you like a whole pizza and then you fast for the next day, 16 hours, 20 hours or whatever you want to do, by the day after that, your body fat will be even lower than it was before you ate that cake as if you worked out and your body will not even know that you had that cake because that cake is gone so if you want to have a little bit of fun pretty much that's what you gotta do or keep your insulin low but i'll, I'll explain that but i'm going over the benefits of uh, fasting after a crazy cheat day besides that everybody have a great day stay focused do what you got to do. Don't let anyone stop your path to greatness because you got to love them because without them, 
what are you? And if you don't have them, that means you ain't doing something right. Besides that, everybody have a great day. Stay motivated. Use my page as motivation. One team, one dream.